Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here to talk to you guys over a little bit of Mods for Noobs Episode 2, guys. The series where I teach you guys how and what you guys need to do in order to have the most fun on Minecraft. Anyway, this episode, we're going to be talking about actually mods and installing them. So what are the first five mods you want to have? Episode 1, I taught you guys how to install Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Forge, guys. Some of you guys ended up having problems, but a lot of it had to do with not deleting your meta info. You guys have to do that. But uh, in this episode, we're not going to be covering that, so I will leave an annotation on the screen that will bring you to another tab in order to see uh, that video and then you guys should be able to follow along uh, after completing those steps anyway first five mods you guys need to have mod loader as well as forge at this point uh, it's just gonna help you out a lot uh, in the future so anyway why did I close that uh, we're gonna open up this in a new window this is basically just my instance of Minecraft guys this is where I'm installing all the mods to just pretend instead of first five mods in Minecraft up here you see roaming and dot Minecraft because this is the dot Minecraft right here but anyway now we got that point apart out of the way let's talk about the first five mods we're going to install in and in no particular order guys personally I like timber mod probably the most out of any of these but in no particular order we're gonna be installing inventory tweaks uh, this is basically a mod that organizes your inventory as well as your chests we're going to be installing not enough items which is nei not enough items right here it's basically uh, a variant of too many items guys i personally like this one way better than too many items uh not enough items just has a few more options that are just pretty cool uh then we got optifine this is basically a tweak or a, a mod or whatever you want to call it uh, that uh, enables you to have much more control over your minecraft's uh graphics aspect i guess you can turn on and off fog change the render distance much more specifically than you could with uh, just default minecraft options you can turn on and off a whole bunch of different animations so it's mainly for those people with lower end pcs that need to do these that need to turn on and off these certain things in order to make their computer run or their minecraft run faster uh, but even people at the higher end like even i still use it because i have stuff like uh, sonic shaders on and i need to drop down my render distance but i don't want to go all the way to short so maybe i go short plus 32 meters or plus whatever uh, and I'll show you guys that all in the second half of this video where I show you guys how to use each one of these mods but we're gonna go over the installation first then we got single player commands guys this is probably not very important at all to a lot of you guys but if you guys do install a lot of mods in the future uh, single player command and you do play a lot of single player this can come in handy a lot guys stuff like camera studio does involve you needing to type in the chat and because single player doesn't need to have chat or at least not yet you guys are gonna need to use single player commands anyway let's get into installing these right away to to make sure this video isn't too long but uh, anyway so let's get started so you're gonna want to open your dot minecraft guys from there uh, or actually we're gonna go into this no mods folder this is stuff without any of these mods installed so far I already installed all the stuff into the dot minecraft uh, just because I was testing out making sure everything was working and knew I knew every step uh, and whatnot so anyway what you're going to do is you're going to want to go into your bin. You're going to go on to you're going to want to go to your Minecraft.jar. Right click, open with, and WinRAR. Uh, you're going to open that up with WinRAR Archiver. Then from there you're going to go into let's hey let's install not enough items first. So the first thing you're going to go is you're going to go into this folder. You're going to need to download Code Chicken Core, guys. Uh, this is just another thing that you need to download. I did not cover this in my last video when installing stuff like Mod Loader and Forge. So this is what you're going to need to install. So you're just going to drag and drop this or sorry open this select it all and then drag and drop it right in there you go should work out for you then you're going to go to not enough items select it all drag it in and you're done then not enough items should be installed and it should be working properly make sure you guys launch minecraft from here to make sure make sure you guys launch minecraft after every single mod so that when you if you guys have problems you can comment below saying hey my minecraft stopped working after i installed whatever mod so from there you're going to want to install i don't know let's try optifine it's still installed in here so we can do something like that drag drop done optifine is now installed from there you're going to want to install say single player commands control a everything except for world edit uh world edit and like these text files or something like that the terms and stuff or you can keep that and it doesn't really matter it doesn't change anything just make sure you do not copy this world edit in from there you're going to drag and drop click ok and there you go that's that part's working and you should be done with them this minecraft.jar then you're going to or sorry stay in there and what you're going to do is you're going to take this world edit.jar this jar file right here that you did not copy into the minecraft.jar you're going to go control c or right click and copy and then you're going to go over here and paste so you need that world edit in the dot or you want it inside the bin folder not inside the minecraft.jar that's very important 
Then from there, the other stuff is installed into the mods folder. So you're gonna take this inventory tweaks, control C, go over here, control V. It's in there. Now you're gonna take this uh, timber mod, control C, and control V. There you go. So that's basically how you install those five mods. Everything should be running from this point. And uh, if it isn't, guys, make sure that you uh, have that you check every time you install something so that I can actually help you guys in the comments. Because a lot of you guys weren't deleting your meta info or you weren't deleting something or you weren't doing something specific and I didn't know how to help you guys. So anyway, let's run it and let's go into showing you guys about these different mods. And we're back, guys. Now I'm going to be showing you guys what each mod does. I don't want to waste too much of your time, so I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible, starting off with Timber Mod. So as you guys can see, I got an axe in my hand, and uh, basically this is what Timber Mod does. You ready? Boom. Destroys all the blocks in a tree. As simple as what I said at the beginning, it does that feature that really helps, guys. I'm really annoyed when trees don't uh, despawn because there's like one block left. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a really complicated type tree over here I'm just trying to sprint here uh, really complicated type tree as you guys can see all those pieces of wood hit the bottom block all of them fall down guys this tree will now despawn like all these all this woods getting pulled to me that is because I have magnet mode turned on uh, which is really convenient but I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit later and as you guys can see it makes it makes going cutting down trees really you don't want to cut down trees you want to go mining because mining you always have a chance of getting something cool like diamond what getting wood you're always gonna get wood like that's that's, that's what's gonna happen there's no like surprise that could happen and I know there's lots of, lots of sexual innuendos that could be brought up from that phrase but whatever so now we're gonna talk about inventory tweaks guys inventory tweaks uh, for some reason it glitches this chest right here and it's not closing but whatever basically what it does is it's really simple let's turn on these chest buttons you will see these chest buttons here and what you can do is see all this stuff is like say I want to throw some of this stuff in here and I want to throw that in there and I want to like put this wood in here but like it doesn't all stack up right so I just hit this and it automatically stacks up all my stuff and organizes it we can go by columns and it'll stack it like that or by rows and it'll stack like all the wood next to each other and all this stuff doesn't really match up very well it's kind of the organic stuff here I guess but uh, it's pretty cool you guys can turn off the chest buttons and then just hit your scroll wheel and it'll change it all which is pretty cool really do enjoy it but that's basically the gist of it it's pretty neat it's good for single player now let's go on to the third one. We're going to be talking about single player commands, guys. So all you have to do is hit T on your keyboard, brings up your command prompt, and you guys can go slash game mode one. And right there, I'm in creative now. Drop down, and then slash T, I hit the up arrow. It automatically recalls all of my phrases, hit game mode zero, and now I'm in survival again. So that's pretty cool right there. One of, like, really cool for single player so that you guys don't need to install something like uh, not enough items. But now let's move on to not enough items. Not enough items is really cool. You got all these like neat features. If you guys have too many items, it's pretty much the same thing, except you guys have a cool, uh, a few little more features with this. So as you guys can see, I'm starving right now. Hit the heal button and it refills my health and, or sorry, ref refills my hunger bar and it would refill my health if I was starving. You can set the time of day with all this cool stuff. You guys can turn rain on. There you go. You got rain. Turn the rain off. You guys can delete items. Hold shift. It deletes all your items. I'm not going to go through all the different features of it, but basically the gist of them. Uh, say you want to make a lapis block. You hover over it and hit R, and it'll show you how to craft it. So you guys can do all that stuff. You can guys you can go over a furnace, hit R, and it'll show you uh, how to make that furnace, like a jack-o'-lantern, show you how to make a jack-o'-lantern, TNT, bookshelf. This is really cool. A lot of people don't know how to build all this stuff, like glass. You can, it'll say that you have to smelt it. You smelt uh, sand over any of these things, any wooden things that you can smelt over. Um, it does, obviously doesn't show you how to make everything, like... Uh, it'll show you how to make these different colors, but it won't show, show you how to make watermelon because you actually need to, you know, go grow a watermelon. Um, but anyway, you got stuff like that. You got these saves and whatnot. So hit E on your keyboard to get back from that. Say you want to save this awesome inventory, right? Uh, and then, I don't know, you accidentally deleted all your items, you died or something, you wanted to load that back up. Now we got all that stuff again. As you guys are probably noticing, we got this magnet mode. Turn that on, and all this stuff goes towards me. If you were like TNT mining or something like that, and you didn't want to jump down in your hole to pick up all the cobble or whatever, you guys can use TNT, blow a whole bunch of stuff up, everything gets sucked up towards you. As you guys can see, this is going from a very far distance, and it's all coming towards me. As you can see right there, it's all coming towards me. Pretty cool right there. And finally, we're going to move on to our final mod and our final mod is optifine guys optifine is amazing i love it uh especially when i was back on my laptop and my freaking stats were or my specs were terrible you just hit your video settings right here and it shows you all this cool stuff so i can't go on far distance but i can go on like normal 
plus 64 or something like that. Uh, it just has to do with the amount of RAM I have on my computer. You can turn fog off completely, which does increase your performance. You can change up these animations. You can do a lot of stuff. You guys are going to have to play with it for yourself. Uh, you're not really going to see a huge difference in what the game looks like, but it does help you out. Anyway, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed seeing all this stuff. Hopefully I didn't miss too much, but uh, I did have to be fast. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Peace. And I am back, guys, for the final time. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to leave a rating, guys. It really helps me and shows me what direction I should be going, what what videos style I should be spending more time on. Uh, for you guys, remember, guys, to subscribe above to join the nation and be reminded when I upload more videos. And finally, the video on screen is episode one of Race to Wool, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you guys have, remember to go rate that video because if I get 15 likes on it, I will be uploading episode two the day after it was uploaded or for tomorrow if you guys are watching this day of. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Peace.